Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe Heller, your sales manager over at Rim Real Estate, giving you a call. So obviously we want to stay in good graces with Zillow. So what I've done is I printed out these little cheat sheets and they're laminated um, and they're all over all the offices. So if you see one of these and you get a Zillow lead, let's go ahead and make sure we follow our script. So what's happening now is if you do not follow the script, and you're scored negatively, your leads are gonna be paused and you're not gonna be getting any more Zillow leads. Nobody wants that. We wanna make sure you get your Zillow leads. So I just wanted to show you a little screen share of what I have to do in terms of scoring the cards. So um, this is kind of complicated maybe, but um, I feel like if you look on the screen here, you can see what they're asking for. So um, basically, uh, we put in the agent's name and then we start from here. So professional greeting. So look right here, guys. This is the first question. Did the agent introduce their name, their brokerage uh, proactively acknowledging why the customer is calling? So, you know, a few of the agents are saying, hey, this is Joe, um, you know, Zillow agent, you know. So we want to get kind of more into some specifics. So you got to say, hey, this is Joe Heller, realtor with Room Real Estate. I see here you're looking at a property located at XYZ address. And so you want to identify that. So if I did say that, that would be a proper introduction and I could check yes. But if you just say, hey, this is Joe, how can I help you? That's not a correct score. So you're, you're going to lose out on a point there. Okay. So now let's scroll down. So did you ask for an in-person or visual showing appointment immediately after the greeting? Okay, so that needs to happen. So, hey, this is Joe Heller with Room Real Estate. I see here you're looking at a property located at 325 Main Street. Uh, can I get you into this property proactively, right? So uh, when can I get you into the property? I'm happy to book an appointment with you. Okay, so those that's that would be a yes if you were proactive. Now the next step, ask what other property the customer would like to see. All right, we'll definitely get you into that property, but while we're doing that on Saturday, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, um, is there any other properties you'd like to see? So that would be a good segue for that. And if you did that, you'd get a yes, and then you get some extra points. Um, and then we want to ask, well, what did you find interesting about that property? What, gra what, what gravit made you gravitate towards this property? What are the elements of this property uh, that interest you? Okay, so if you ask those type of questions, then you're going to get a check mark there. Scroll down a little bit. And then the bonus, did the agent offer to identify additional homes that fit their criteria? So we always want to do that, guys, because if you just show them one property and they don't like it, then you're dead in the water. So if we can get a couple showing, show a few properties at the same time, even though they're really dead set on that one property, um, that's going to increase the likelihood that they're going to find something they'll like and you get a deal in escrow. So we want to do that. Okay, so the negative stuff, the stuff that we cannot afford to talk about. Okay, so did you pull up the property uh, and interrupt the conversation? So, oh, hey, this is Joe Heller with Room Real Estate. I see here you're looking at a property. Hold on. Let me log in real quick and get the address. Okay? So you shouldn't do that. You should have your phone handy. You should be able to open up. Once you get your Zillow lead, immediately go into the Zillow app, see the property that they're looking at, do not interrupt the conversation to say, oh, let me log into the MLS. Let me pull over. No, just get right into it. Okay. So that, that would be a negative if you started to interrupt the flow of the conversation. Now, attempting to talk about property specifics. Now, our rationale might, maybe you know everything about this property. Um, maybe what you bring up might dissuade these people from actually coming to the property. So you're better off getting that appointment first, meeting them at the property, then you discuss things you don't like. You want to build the rapport. The whole key thing is, is to meet them face to face and become their agent. You don't want to disqualify that property. So you just want to get them out to the property, build that trust, and then take it from there. Okay. Um, did you ask if the, the customer was pre-qualified? Again, we're not going to ask about their qualification. We want to get that phone, that face to face appointment. And then once we build the trust, we can ask about their financials and ask if they're pre-qualified and coach them to get pre-qualified. All right. So did the, did you take a reactive approach rather than a proactive one? Now that's kind of a somewhat of a great area. Um, so reactive meaning you're reacting to whatever they're saying. Proactive is like, Hey, oh yeah, I'll get you in here right away. Um, and uh, we'll make that appointment happen. Okay, so 
definitely want to check that box. Uh, make sure that you are being proactive in your conversations. Now, did you ask if the customer is working with an ed, another agent? So that is a no, no, faux pas. So we don't want to ask about any other agent and you don't absolutely don't want to bring up I'll contact the listing agent. So that's been a few things. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll get us an appointment. Let me just talk to the listing agent. No. So we always want to bring up the seller. So I'll, let me contact the seller and see if I can get you into that property. Or let me contact the seller and I'll get those questions answered for you. Okay, so that's how we want to operate that and discuss buyer agency. You never want to discuss buyer agency. You don't want to discuss commissions. That's something to do at a second, third follow-up appointment. Okay, so if you did all these things, um, and then the last step is successful appointment set. So the next steps, did you confirm the day, the time, and exactly how that appointment is going to work? So typically I'll say, okay, I have you down here for uh, Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, I'll meet you sharp. We're going to be meeting at the property. I was, I'm going to shoot you a quick text so that you have a copy of my business card, or something to that effect, or uh, maybe say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to call you in the morning to reconfirm the appointment. And then you should be good to go. So just make sure that you actually confirm and, and follow that up, um, get that appointment and get everything set. So that is a little video on the scoring of Zillow and how it operates and functions. So if you don't follow that script, they're gonna pause you and you're gonna get no more leads. And then what happens if you have to turn your leads back on? How do you turn your leads back on? You gotta go back to school. Nobody wants to go back to school, especially in my age. So let's just, Stay in good graces with them. Stick to the script. I know we want to get into all these nuances of the property, but there's a time and a place, and it's not on the phone. We want to do that in person. Build that trust. Build that rapport. All right, thanks, guys. Peace.